Hello, I'm David Hilser. I'm a critical thinker. I'm a dissident scientist and I'm here to tell you the truth about science, something your university professors won't tell you, the mass media won't tell you, and of course those science evangelists won't tell you. Getting better at that, but today I'm going to talk about a question I get all the time, which is, Dave, you bitch and moan an awful lot, but you don't give us specifics. Oh, you tell there's great things out there, there's ideas out there, but you don't give us specifics. In some sense, that is true. I do point you to the specifics, but that question really comes from, from two groups of people. One group of people who simply want to do what I call the Star Wars, sh shoot the one bullet and bring down the Death Star, which is dissident science. Those people say, give me something. This happens, I've seen this for over 20 years. Give me, give me that one thing you said tells us tells us relativity is wrong. And where they're going to come along is they're going to come along. Mm, there. Number three. Negative sign. Totally invalid. Goodbye. Of course, it's pretty funny given the fact that mass increases in, uh, observed in particle accelerators and they don't talk about that or they talk around it because they have, like what I've told you before, they have double standards. So those people who are out there in my uh, my YouTube channel in the comments saying, Dave, you're not giving us anything. You're just talking baloney. Use a little bit stronger words. Well, I'm not, and yes, we have something. But no matter what we give to those kinds of people, they'll never be satisfied, and they'll shoot it down, and they'll tell you, you don't know what you're talking about. You're crazy. We're in the majority. All of those things I talked about in a, in a very recent video of mine. So those people, not worth it. They basically relegate themselves to obscurity. They're going to be the same people that you thought, well, look at all those people during Copernicus time that all thought the Earth was the center of the universe. Ha, 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 ha. They were so stupid. Well, guess what? All of the mainstream science can pretty much put themselves right in that same basket. But... The other group of people are truly and honestly are critical thinkers, and they're going, Dave, where can I find this stuff? I did a video on our website, and you can see that. And, well, we do have a lot of material, and I'm going to show you some of those today in the form of book forms. Some of them you can get, some of them you can't if you're interested in some of them. I do maybe have some copies, but I can maybe try to point you to at least a website or whatever. But we do have lots of them. And to show you that, I have this <coughs> stack of books of a lot of works. And I want to start with uh, two of the books from, um, let's see what date they are. This is from the old MPA, which is, uh, we are the C CMPS. And yes, the MPA uh, has pretty much died because all of us moved to another organization. But these are our works. If you look at them, pretty much everybody in our in our. These are the Volume 8 and Volume 9 of the Natural Philosophy Alliance, now known as CMPS. And we have in this volume 670 some pages of scholarly works. And very good stuff. So if you want to read up on it, special relativity theory violates the causality principle. There you go. So why is it then we have people saying we don't have things? Well, there's one scholarly. Oh, and look, it, it's even in a proceedings. So yes, there's one. This one has almost 700. Oh, here's another one. This one's from 2011. Uh, from the University of Maryland. This other one was from New Al uh, Albuquerque. This one is volume 8. It's even bigger. And it goes to 731 pages. Again, scholarly works. You can see we have a format. It's a proceedings, for goodness sake. And they have works which we find very uh, knowledgeable, very well done. We do uh, vet them and make sure that they, in fact, uh, are at least consistent among themselves. We do not censor them because they say special relativity is wrong or they have a new model. We don't do that. Let's look at some of the other books here. Um, we'll look at some more of the proceedings just recently. Uh, smaller proceedings. 
just as good. 2015 I don't have with me. We sold out. You can buy these online, 2016, 2017. These are smaller because during our transition, we are getting our conferences back and slowly but surely growing them. So yes, you can see and even so this is one from this year. Okay, let's look at some other books that are just fantastic here. This is a great book. So for all of those people who are mathematicians, all those people who love mainstream force equations, they want to be really close to the mainstream, but they want to know the latest and newest ideas of unifying the forces. This is one of the great books. Charles W. Lucas Jr. He was being he was being um, groomed by the US government in the late 70s, early 80s as one of the top minds in physics. But he happened to take a look at relativity and like most people who are critical thinkers find out that it's full of problems. And when he gave that talk he was ousted. Wow, that's a real great system, isn't it? But the result of it is, in my opinion, the greatest force equations ever come up by the human mind and a great, great read. If you're not into really deep into mathematics, if you are even a person in the mainstream, this is quite amazing. So you can get this. I will list these underneath so you should be able to take a look at these and find out where you can get your copy. Mr. Lucas, who is, again, one of the great scientists, in my opinion, of our time. Also, more people here. Oh, yes. We have this one, Terranon from Earth, Plate Tectonics. And there are other books related to this, and this is the Plate Tectonics is a Myth. Oh, it is. Well, we know this is from who? One of our favorite scientists, Dr. James Max Lowe. Again, you can read all about it. He has a lot of other books out there, and he has a website. And in fact, on our Wikipedia, he has probably the best. We have the probably the best encyclopedic description of expansion tectonics. What else do we have here? Um, another great man and great book in my mentor. This is the Autodynamics book. It was published way back in 1999. And it is an amazing book. This is the man who, in his early 20s, found a mistake in special relativity, found that there was a superfluous mathematical and physical frame, removed it, got a different set of equations, realized and figured out by backward engineering that the neutrino was, was actually invented to save special relativity because they were finding more. In decay experiments, they had an uh, the same energy in is the same energy out, but because they use special relativity, they had to, it didn't balance out. Of course, the neutrino saves the day. All of this is here. These autodynamic equations are great because they can do what special relativity really can do and cannot do, and they can explain it in a simple way. Occam's razor, Dr. Karazani, who is a physicist, wins. He's got a doctoral degree. Oh, Dave, do you have one? Nope. All right, let's go on. A couple more books. Um, one you've already seen. Two of you have already seen, but this is a really good book, too. It's the Universal Cycle Theory, and it's by Stephen Puetz and Glenn Borkert, Ph.D. Now, this is where uh, one of the books that blew my mind because it talks about neomechanics. The cycle theory is very interesting. I'm not one to, to really claim to know it. But the infinity part of this book and the neomechanics part of this book blew my mind. One of the blowing up of my minds in my time of 25 years amongst these. Uh, boom, boom. The camera even shakes. Great book. And, of course, I've already talked about this one. I did a whole dedication on this book, The Scientific Worldview. One of the great books of our generation if not in hundreds of years, one of the greatest ones. Read it. Be there or be square, basically. If you don't read it, if you don't get it, you're just going to lose out. And of course, one of the things is, is Dave D. Hilster, hey, you just bitch and moan about all the problems. You don't have, you don't have any solutions. You talk about it. You say, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. So what do you have to say about it? Well, Dave D. Hilster, who, who said he never have 
his own theory or model. Has a model, and my dad and I are working. In fact, I had one of the greatest conversations of my life scientifically with my father last night, talking about gravity, light, and the model we have for it, and diffusion. Why do we see the rainbow? Why do we see that refraction in, in diffusion? Amazing. It was more, my dad said, why didn't we record that? We were dumb not to record that conversation. It went on part two or three hours. We do have a model for everything, and I mean everything. We don't have magic fields. There is no charge because charge is an arbitrary thing that you put on little, you put little pluses and minuses and they come together. Why? Well, we are based on Borkut's great work, uh, Karazani's great work, Newton's great work, Lesage's great work, and others. And of, of, of now, I'm Robert D. Hilster's great work. So, yes, I have this. And yes, it's true. Do you want me to read it to you? A particle model for light, gravity, charge, electricity, fire, lasers, magnetic fields, atomic structure, atomic bonds, atomic polarity, fraction ref reflection, diffusion, mass increase, including a solution for the wave particle duality with double slip with detector. It's real. Real. The world is Newtonian. We can throw away all of electrodynamics because we can describe all the fields. My father's an electrical engineer, and he is seeing this model give us insights to things as we've never seen before. So, let me get to the part. Oh, man, I'm, things are falling down. Let me tell you. For those of you who are following me who really like this, my voice out there, which I, which in my opinion is the majority voice. This is not a minority voice. This is a majority voice for scientists and engineers around the world. This particle physics and this theoretical physics, so much of it's mumbo jumbo. We know. Good for us is is we have gathered information from 2008 to 2010 or 11. Greg Volk, a great dissident scientist mind, brilliant guy, wonderful human being. He and I created the world's most detailed database of people working outside the mainstream. We have over 13,000 pieces in that. We have almost 3,000 scientists and we have over 6,000 abstracts and papers in there. They're all online. Just go to db.naturalphilosophy.org. Yes, it's not working the best, but you can get to a lot of that, those papers. Some of them only have abstracts, meaning only the abstract part of that paper. We, we try to put those papers in as much as we can. So we did that. And that was really just to gather all that information in one place and to have it for prosperity. Greg Volk has tons of other works that needs to be digitized. One of the things we would like somebody with a lot of money to help us out to be able to get that information online so everybody can see it. Well, those of you who want to read this, it's not really necessarily easy for a person like yourself who is now interested in this dissident science and what people are doing and also arguments against because we have literally, I did a search on special relativity in our papers. We have over 200 papers that tell you what's wrong with special relativity. We have people's careers on that and it's very good work. And not a lot of times you can't get to that real easily. Or maybe you're you're intimidated by math, maybe you're intimidated by the the fact that these are in proceedings. Well, come to the rescue our new website we're doing right now in conjunction with uh, this channel and that is we are going to have a website where we're going to introduce to you just like a magazine would introduce you the great scientists uh, in our organization tell you you know their stats what they do what's great about them we're also going to tell you and show you uh, flaws in mainstream and we're going to have literally literally flaw after flaw after flaw with a paper describing what those flaws are Again, you don't have to believe them. Read it and decide for yourself. I'm not here to convince you. But we'll have flaws. We'll also then have theories and models. These things will be on our new website. You can go there now, but you won't see anything, and you can try to log in. You won't get in. But we're it's under construction. It's naturalphilosophy slash home. That will be our new site. We hope to get that out very soon because that will help guide all these, all you people who are now interested in this and really want to start reading about it and introduce you to it. We have a really great marketing idea and campaign for this group and there we're working hard on it. We've got volunteers and you can see it before everyone else. How can you do it? 
you contact me. You con contact me at david at dissidentscience.com and say, hey, David, I live somewhere in the world. Here I live. I'm interested in seeing this stuff and helping you out with it. You can help us out with making this website so that when a person comes who is a critical thinker, they're going to say, wow, this is the best organization in the world. Ooh, I did say it. That's another video. Uh, and I'd like to help out and learn because we've already started the process there. And you can be part of that saying, hey, Dave, I want to help out with that. So yes, yes, you could get that, but you got to help out. We can get you in. You can be one of the editors. Just contact me, David at DissidentScience.com. But remember what I said always and continue to will say, don't take what anyone says on faith, including me. Stay critical. Stay thinking. I'm Dave D. Hilster. I'm your science therapist. And I'm going to now bring you and point you to places where all these things that I just talk, talk, talk about, we have real papers, real scholarly uh, papers dealing with the flaws, explaining those, and scientists who have great work, and we have new models, and lots of them, because you know what? There should not be only one model of the universe. That is a big problem. So, ciao for now.